what I know. The College Board, in response to your so-called proposal, said that if you change or manipulate the curriculum framework, we risk losing our AP designation and course credit. And this is all because you don't think we learn enough about patriotism. Now, to be clear, it doesn't matter to you if we lose our AP credit, but it does to us. Let me explain. One of the ways that we compete to get into good colleges is to take AP classes. And even if we don't lose the AP designation, if our teachers aren't allowed to work through the curriculum framework, which by the way was written by more than 20 college professors and high school history teachers from around the country, we're just getting lower scores on the AP exam. In fact, it's a certainty. And this is also absolutely critical to getting into college and also the thousands of dollars that students can get in scholarships from doing well on these AP exams. Again, this doesn't matter to you, but it's our future and it matters to us. Fortunately for us, we've already taken AP US history, so our protest is not for us. It's for the next generation of students, including the middle school kids at Carmody. So here are our requests, and with really, with due respect, there are more than requests. Please apologize for repeatedly saying that we are only doing the bidding of the union. Heck, I don't know who's in the union and who's not in the union. And second, please promise us tonight that you will abandon your ill-advised and poorly researched proposal. So in conclusion, let me say to Ms. Williams, thank you for your lesson in civil disobedience. And what I've learned from you is that there is a time and place for civil disobedience. And that time is right now, if you don't back down. And I want to introduce Kevin Guzman to the call. And Kevin, I want to, I want to start out first um, by having you just introduce yourself to everyone, let them know, you know, who you are, your background, and why this issue about AP US history, this framework, and, and what's being put out is so important to you. Okay, happy to do that. My name is Kevin Gutzman. I'm a 1981 graduate of Belton High, 1985 Plan II History Honors graduate of UT Austin, 1990 graduate of the LBJ School and UT Law. Uh, I was an attorney for a couple of years, then I decided I'd really rather be a history professor, so I went to the University of Virginia where I got a PhD in revolutionary history. I have written four books. Uh, two of them were bestsellers. One was the Politically Incorrect Guide to the Constitution, is essentially a Jeffersonian uh, version of constitutional history. Uh, then I have two other books that are about the revolution, the most recent of which is called James Madison and the Making of America. Um, all four have been widely, positively reviewed, both in popular and in academic um, outlets. Essentially, I'm interested in this topic of the uh, I see it as the latest manifestation of the ongoing leftward march of American society. It seems to me that what's happened is that essentially in the 1960s, people on the radical left uh, got control of the history profession in American institutions like uh, the major universities, notably the Ivy, Ivy universities, but also others such as UT. Um, and have essentially substituted a new version of American history focusing on various wrongs or supposed wrongs done to classes like blacks, uh, women, Hispanics, working uh, class people, and so on. Um, instead of, uh, often entirely instead of telling what the story really is, why America exists, how it is that millions of people still want to come to the United States, what it was that made America uh, prosperous and free and so on. And so although I do not believe that the question, for example, what the experience of people in slavery was like should be ignored, uh, I do not think that it should be uh, the exclusive or the mm -hmm. dominant uh, theme of American history classes that America has always and everywhere mistreated everybody. So. When I saw these latest proposed standards being discussed, um, it seemed to me just a kind of recapitulation of the uh, freakus we had about 20 years ago when there were proposed American history standards coming out of uh, a panel that was uh, heavily supported by the National Endowment for Humanities. You may remember on one side we had Professor Gary Nash, a, 
a race class and gender expert from UCLA who was the main man behind the uh, proposed standards in the 1990s. And the other, Lynn Chain, who uh, foolishly at the NEH had given him a lot of money to do that, even though anybody who knew anything about him would have known that it was going to come out as a uh, left-wing victimology uh, set of standards. So fortunately at that point, uh, a lot of people pushed back, but it seems that at the moment there's not really any pushback. And I know for myself, uh, last week actually we had, uh, in my Connecticut town, we had uh, open house and I went and talked to my daughter's AP U.S. history teacher and he was telling me about the new standards and I was thinking, oh man, uh, fortunately I can correct my daughter at home, but this is not a good thing if people are being indoctrinated into thinking that the main problems in America center on the fact that white people have been Christian and believed in free enterprise and limited government, and now we need to undo that. Um, I think we can anticipate further um, further movement toward the left and uh, further concentration of authority in government, uh, intervention by the government in the economy. Uh, various kinds of uh, affirmative action programs that are expressly anti-white, um, and so on. So I'm happy to talk to you about what I understand to be going on.